Oh, hello everyone. Can you hear me? Let's see how laggy Beam.pro is. Yeah, there's no lag here. You just, yeah. Oh, okay. Shizzy, Shizzy can hear me. All right. You guys, and I've no idea why. You guys, hello. You guys, hello, bit late. You're on time, bit late. Says wrong. Anyway, you guys have voted once again for this game. I don't know why. Uh, but I don't know why I put it back up again either. But... Here we go, back into Valkyria Chronicles, with, of course, a cutscene. Hello, old lady Simmer. Do you want to go back? Go, yeah, go for it. Shots were fired. Brule was under Imperial control. Don't look at me. Though a mere skirmish by Empire standards. The raid on Brule would mark Welkin Gunther's first taste of battle, and begin his rise to a Gallian hero. <laughs> I know, it's shocking, isn't it? The thought of a cutscene in this game. Alicia. I thought I would be ready for this. I knew war meant this might happen. It hurts. Seeing my town overrun like this, seeing all those people killed, it's just not right. How could all this happen? It isn't human, Welkin. We look at those birds and see how wild and free they are. But they all have their own territories. If anything threatens their home, they'll risk their lives to defend it. People are animals too. We do what we have to, when we have to. To who we have to, with and what we have at hand. It's a constant struggle to stay alive, but I've also seen them help each other, almost like they were cooperating in order to survive. Cooperating? That's why I'm so into studying natural science. That coexistence. I want to know how it works. If we could figure that out, mankind could put it to use for our own survival. That's why I want to be a teacher, so that I can pass that knowledge on to the children. I mean, even if we can't completely eliminate war, at least we might learn to live together as one people. You think so? Martha fell asleep, so that makes me the babysitter. See, Alicia? Oh, he's adorable. Just like you said, even in war, new life happens all around us. Come here. Look. That's Come here, life. child. I wish to practice my dropkick skills. Someday, we'll come back home again. Yes. Someday soon. I know it. Someday we'll come back home again, and maybe then I'll find my trousers. Hello, everybody. Um, Urban warfare. Lady Simmer, Jock08, Kellyanne, what's her face? Uh, Leave Audia. Everyone else is logged on. This is Valkyria Chronicles. Gurdy Simmers, hello. And. I, I well, I, I did the I did the battle that um, I lost last time off camera, and quite frankly, I was so annoyed by the time I'd finished it that uh, there's no way I'm going to do it again. Um, in defending this this gate that we had to do, I ended up destroying it at least five times, so I was a bit frustrated. So what we're going to do is we're going to move on to a new chapter. Let's give it a go. A new episode has been added. A new cutscene for everyone to see. Let's give it a go, shall we? In March of 1935, the Empire began its invasion across Gallia's eastern border.
Maximilian, commander of the Gallian invasion front, built his army around mobile armor. Girlendio and the other fortresses along the border fell to his tanks in quick succession. Bruel's fall in under two hours was typical of villages in the Empire's path, and the road to the capital bore a steady flow of refugees. Yeah, please bear in mind this is in no way World War II. Okay, this has got nothing whatsoever to do with World War II. Gallia's capital, a town secure and stable since ancient times. Within its walls stood the castle Rand Gris, and within its unicorn spire resided Cordelia, Gallia's princess. And for some reason it looks like it was modelled upon a snow shovel. Supporting Gallia's policy of neutrality was a system of universal conscription. Yes, the chat is much faster here. It's great. All schools required military training each year. In the event of a war, citizens were then drafted into the militia to defend their country. But why? We conscripted the universe. As the conflict with the East grew worse, both Welkin and Alicia found themselves no exceptions to that fate. Okay, guys, now please remember, okay, this is beta software, but it, it seems to be great. There's going to be some hiccups. The app is not perfect and all that, but they're getting there, and uh, I think they deserve our support. So these are my new digs. Ah, do you dig them? Oh, my uniform. I should get changed before reporting in. Better get ready now. I am the perfect model Players, of a modern major compass, general. Compass and a map. Everything you need for a nice hike. Or combat. Or a combat hike. Welkin? Can I come in? Sure, it's open. Oh, you're already changed too. Let's see. Not bad, not bad. You look good, actually. <laughs> it's a very restrained way of her standing there going homina 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 homina. So how about me? Do I look alright in this? Convincing? Let's take a look. Well, from the neck up, you're alright. <laughs> yeah, you look fine. You wear it like a pro Really? You're not just saying that? Of course not. You look tough. I like it. Oh good. I was worried it looked kind of silly. Oh, a sign around your neck saying, eat it, Joe's? How could that look silly? No way. That plating on the back? It's like a coleopterid exoskeleton. Beetle-tastic. <laughs> Polio what? <laughs> and did you just say beetle? <laughs> uh, Welkin? <laughs> way to spoil the moment. What kind of girl wants to hear that she looks like a bug? Huh? Not just any bug, a rhinoceros beetle, king of the insects. Who wouldn't want that? I wonder if this uniform came with a shovel. Uh-huh. I guess I'll just try to take that as a very Welkin sort of compliment. Tell me about that scarf. You've been wearing it since I met you. Oh, this? It's part of my uniform from the bakery. Is that right? I don't want to forget the time I spent busting my buns baking. <laughs> busting her buns baking. Oh dear. I plan to keep wearing it until I can get back to manning the ovens again. That's great. Once you do, I'll be first in line to get some of that bread. Is that a promise? Well, I'll be sure to have plenty of it ready and waiting for you. Absolutely. Hey, if you're ready, we should probably go see the captain now. Well, what he's, what he's really thinking is, yeah, the uniform's all well and good, but I did actually prefer it when you were effectively just wearing a short dressing gown. Right. A new episode has been added. Oh, we got through about four of them there. Okay, let's, uh... Let's have a quick look here. Squad 7 is born. There's so many cutscenes in this, but by the time we get around to playing again, I'm probably going to have forgotten how to. Come in. 
Excuse me, ma'am. Oh dear. You've been a very naughty boy. Galleon Militia Enlistee Welkin Gunther, reporting for duty. Ma'am, Galleon Militia Enlistee Alicia Melkiot, also reporting for duty. I'm Captain Eleanor Varat, commander of this regiment. And I shall punish you Gunther, most mightily. You're promoted to lieutenant. You'll be leader of Squad 7 now. Ma'am. Enlistee Melkiot, you're promoted to sergeant. You'll be under the lieutenant's command. Understood? Ma'am. What do you know? Oh, Feldio. Nice coincidence, huh, Welkin? Feldio? I had no idea that you'd enlisted. Yeah. Now that there's a real war going on, I joined up. Pretty much all the officer and training boys are here just like you. You know each other? Yes, ma'am. We knew each other at university. Welcome was in science and I was in archaeology. I really dig archaeology. And just look at us now. No archaeology or science. Looks like the two of us are studying war, I guess. Looks that way. It's good to see you. And you. That'll be all for now. There's a strategy briefing later today. But you still have time. Time for you to catch up. You'll be spending a lot of time on the coast, <laughs> and in land breeze. They'll be your new home, so get to know them. That'll be all. Report back in time for the briefing. Until then, you're dismissed. You still have time, she says. You have time to cover yourself in honey and lick it off each other's bodies while I watch. Oh dear. Right, okay, this is new. I have no idea what we're doing. Okay, squad barracks. Oh yes, the mouse doesn't work in this, does it? Fort Barracks, Command Room, Training Field, or Research and Development, and Return to Book Mode. Oh, we can finally spend all this experience and money we've picked up, can we? Okay, so let's have a quick look at the Squad Barracks. Also, you may never leave. Mm. Okay, so we have... Alright, so we have Welkin Gunther, the tank commander, who is... Alright, uh, okay. So he's, he's, his armament is a tank, I'm presuming. Um, or a grenade, or ragnade. He's wearing a combat suit with no defense whatsoever. Likes Alicia, Juno, Audrey, preferably all three. Walks in the park. People who aren't afraid to show their emotions. Okay, Alicia. Alicia Melchiot. Okay, so the Galleon one is not a tank. It's obviously their rifle. And they have grenades and a ragnade. And, yeah, she, she likes Welkin, Nochi, and Dallas. Who doesn't like Nochi and Dallas? Rosie. Br uh, Rosie is Bridget Stark. Who has a Mags M1, lots and lots of hair, and likes Largo cherries. Oh, what? And oh, good lord! All right. Would you look at those sideburns? All right. Those sideburns are. <laughs> Sorry, my little cousin has chicken pox, and she wanted to Skype. Then she hung up on me to call Cookie Monster. Aren't four-year-olds fun? No. Okay, right, yes, and... Largo Potter. The man with the sideburns with their own postal code. He, he likes people that aren't in the squad at the moment. And his blast suit does no defence. I mean, what little blast suit does no defence? Oh, dear lord. Okay, um... He's a lancer, if that means anything. She's a shock trooper. Which is good, because in the, the last fight, those are the ones that only actually did any damage. She's a scout, and he's a tank commander. Okay, right. Exit the barracks. We've got all we know out of that. Command room. It's good to see you doing the rounds. Welcome. This is the command room. Use it to structure your squad. Yes, take your squad and whip, whip them into order. You will have access to both drafted and volunteer recruits. Now that I think of it, Squad 7 is still short on soldiers, isn't it? I'll explain how this works. 
This is the master list. The recruits have all been assigned classes based on their talents. I don't know if they're going to be heart likes, to be honest with you, Leave. Um, it wouldn't be surprising if they threw a, a, a sort of dating structure into this, to be totally honest with you. I should probably touch on the five classes, just so we're clear. First off, you have the scouts. Just like the name suggests, they'll be your eyes. Their best asset is their mobility. They can go out, collect intel, then make it back safely. Provided they aren't shot. That, and a keen eye for enemies. A good scout can spot a man in tall grass from a hundred yards. Yes, but can, he, can they spot tall grass and a man from a hundred yards is the question. That comes at the price of firepower. Their job is spotting enemies, not taking them out. Next up, the shock trooper. They're the ones to break through enemy lines and... They offer excellent offense and defense. As far as combat goes, they're as good as it gets. While they lack any specialized techniques, they also don't have any obvious shortcomings. <laughs> okay, right, we now... We, we, I think we've now just picked up bit late's taste in men. All right. Think of them as the least finicky unit in your squad, Lieutenant. After them, we have Lancers, then anti-tank units. They're critical when facing armored targets. Their purpose is pretty self-explanatory. In most cases, they're the only way to stop a tank. If you stack enough of them in front of a tank, they can't go anywhere. They're also well shielded from explosives, which conveniently includes tank mortars. Sadly, they're slow and weak to gunfire. Their limited ammo could also be called a drawback. Changing gears, we have the engineers. They handle supplies and perform combat support. They can restock other units' ammunitions, treat the wounded, even repair tanks on site. Right. Okay, if you guys are going to fight over Faldia, it's the only it's it's only right that you do it the honourable way. Okay. Uh, if you can all change into your swimwear, I'll get the pit of mud out. They can place sandbags for cover, disarm mines, repair towers, you name it. Their actual combat skills are very low. Think of them as combat facilitators. It's the rifle and the grenade are just for show. Lastly, we have the snipers. They can shoot down targets from a considerable distance. You won't find better soldiers for marksmanship and range. They can hit targets I can barely see. Especially without my glasses on. Sniping rifles also come with scopes that work to augment a sniper's natural eyesight. Drawbacks include low mobility and defense. If the enemy gets them alone, they're done for. That should cover the basics. <laughs> Five points from Gryffindor from your presumption bit late to the game. Go ahead and put a squad together now. There's room for 20 and you can swap units at any time. Right, okay. All oh, right, so we all right, so we have Right, we have Alicia, Rosie and Largo in squad 17 and we have all these people um that we could add to, can we? Okay. Right, we have Wavy, who's a neat freak and a camp defender, and is a Darson Bond, whatever that may be. Um, worries about dirt stains. Okay, I'm more interested in this one. Having brethren close by to protect stirs enhanced defensive capabilities. Okay. Right, okay, I think I'm getting this. So let's let's fill up our, our roster, shall we? Child of Nature Fancy's Men Chatty Cathy Whether a close friend is nearby They can't just help but chit chat The distraction that lowers their accuracy Okay Country Brad AB Country Brad Okay Right, all right, let's, um, right, we've already got one scout, so let's pick up another. 
And what on earth? How does a metal allergy come to this? Proximity to metals. Drain and claustrophobic. Oh, yeah, there's a waste of time. Okay. All right. Enhanced accuracy when around men. Okay. Okay, bug in a rug. Let's have Nancy. Okay, all right. I'm Nancy DeFore. It's so good to meet you. On oh, secondly, on second thoughts. Ah, we'll have her. Right, we got uh, Nancy, so we got two. Scouts, we've got a squad of twenty we can build up here. Okay, so let's let's go through the uh the more rare okay, um ones. I think I think I think one lancer is enough. Let's have a, a, a what are these snipers? We're gonna want at least one sniper, I would think. Oscar or Catherine? Meadowbred, camaraderie and pessimist. It's like playing Rimworld again. <laughs> I think Cherry is going to take all the men. And... Imp hater. I should imagine that's not what I think it means. Pool hater... Okay, right, we're taking this guy. Uh, yeah, let's turn the light on. Meadowbred, night vision, and imp hater. Pure hatred for the Empire he yields a boost in accuracy. Okay, this is obviously a man who likes the Rebel Alliance. Okay, so we'll have a sniper. Hey, I'm Oscar Baylert. Thanks for taking me on board. By the sounds of it, you're actually 14. Okay. Right. Couple of couple of uh, engineers, shall we? Um, a metal, a metal head. Smell of iron clears the head, leading to a boost in attack power. Yeah, okay, we'll have her. I'm Ramsey Clement. Uh, hey. Well, well, the enthusiasm. Right. Nadine looks all right. Dallas looks all right. She's a man hater, but fancies women. So if we, if we could stick her with the other engineer, which is probably going to be that happens, then uh, she'll be quite happy. He's so lonely. Shame we're not going to pick him. Right. Okay. So let's have Dallas. Dallas Wyatt. My name is Dallas Wyatt. I'm excited to be joining up. Okay. Right. Actually, while I'm thinking about it, let's pick uh, one more Lancer. City Kid. Oh dear. Soul Patch. Moving on. Uh. Neat Freak, Scout, Hater, Camp, Defender... Oh dear, these, these are not good traits really, are they? Born Leader! Metal Allergy... Right, let's have the Lone Wolf. I'm Niels, Niels Dareden. I'll see you on the field. Hmm. Is he happy? Right, and what we'll do is we'll just, uh, what have we got? We've got 12 more slots, so let's just, yeah, let's just fill them up with shock troopers for now. I don't know um, if this is a good idea or not, but I'm sure we will find out. Hi, I'm Alex Raymond. I look forward to serving with you, Welkin. Ah, <sighs> the enthusiasm. I already dislike him. H Hello, I'm Kevin. Kevin Abbott? Pleased to meet you. Ah, Kevin. Go to the front where the bullets are. Name 
name's Kobe Cairns, boyo. Looks to me like we're going to see a lot of each other. Yes, if you could just lay down in front of the tank. Yeah, preferably near that puddle. Hello, Melody. <laughs> oh dear, it looks like somebody fell for the um the Minecraft uh, April Fools. That was so good. I really enjoyed that actually. Um Charles and Nater, Himp Imp Hater, lots and lots of hair. Hey Salinger, reporting for duty, sir. Have gruff voice, can travel. Alright, metal head and pessimist. Hello, I'm Mika Hawkins. I'll be serving under you from here on. Um, I hope not. The name's Vice Engelbart. Let's go kick this war in the teeth. I'm Wendy Cheslock. <laughs> Kaboom. Oh, oh dear, I think I'm in love. Jane Turner. The name's Jane Turner. I'll do anything if it means putting holes in imps. What about imps in holes? Right, and Dolor Dorothy Howard. Uh, hello there. I'm Dorothy. I'll, uh, I'll do my best. Okay, right. Uh, we've got a few more people here. I tell you what, let's take. It's given us lots of scouts. So let's pick up a. Uh, um, three, let's, let's pick up three more of them. We can them. So it's fair, desert bread, freesia, bit of a cow. I'm that was a bad joke. Handsome. I know you'll take real good care of me. Oh yes. And child of nature, chatty Cathy, pollen allergy, good buddy. Let's have a good buddy. Hey there, I'm Ika Thompson. I'll try my best. Sound good, Wilkin? Right, and finally... Not a Wordsworth with a bad back. Susie! Let's have Susie. My name is Susie Evans, sir. I realize I'm inexperienced, but I'll do all I can. Well, come into my tent, Susie, and we'll work on the inexperienced bit. Right, okay. Don't know what the hell I've just done, but I've done something. Well, feel like you've struck a balance? Come back any time you'd like to adjust your squad. As time passes, we'll have more recruits to choose from, so keep an eye on that list. Oh, and all the recruits go through training together, so they're all ready for combat. They'll be at the same level as the rest of the team you've taken into the field. You can swap out members without the worry of losing the benefit of their experience. <laughs> Trust in your own judgment and pick a team you know you can work well with. We're doomed. That should be enough to get you started. You can figure out the rest as you go. Right. Nice. Wow. Squad leader's a lot of responsibility. Come to think of it, Faldio's heading up squad one, isn't he? I wonder if he's off sorting through this stuff now, too. I'd better get a move on. 